As plastic surgeons, we've all had times when we thought we did the perfect surgery, and unfortunately, we don't always get the perfect results. And sometimes, that's not our fault, right? Steve, have you had patients who maybe don't cooperate? Well, I think the biggest non-cooperative thing is when people get back to too much activity too early, and that's the biggest problem that I've had with, with folks either you know, having, you know, God forbid, a hematoma or something like that, or just swelling that it takes so long to get rid of. You know, they go back to exercise, they get their blood pressure jacked up, and then, you know, unfortunately, it, it slows the recovery process. But, I mean, everybody, they always listen to you, right? They do exactly what you say. I'm astounded how, even though we have them sign what they have to do, they have to be very careful. And then the next thing you know, they do housework they go to the gym, so those types of things lead to, in my opinion, lead to delayed recovery in, in the long term. And so Dr. Seckel was saying, you know, on surgical procedures, but I mean, it's safe, right? It's completely safe when we're um, doing non-surgical procedures and they don't necessarily have to listen to you on those things. Well, you know, it's the same sort of thing, and I, and I actually put this one to the test myself. If you exercise after having a Botox injection, it doesn't set up and last as well. So I think, you really have to give people guidelines. I put it, things in print for folks to look at so that, so that they not only hear it from me, but they see it and there's a lot of reference. And then we reiterate at their post-op visits to make sure that they're following an appropriate regimen. What are the key things in terms of following directions, making sure you have a good outcome? I think, you know, lack of mobility, uh, especially breast augmentation, faceless procedures like that. I encourage them, I, I want them to be up and, and go to the dinner table, go to the bathroom, take a slow walk with somebody who's got their arm. So I think the key is that they don't overdo it. I had a patient fall down, you know, miraculously on New Year's Eve once and cause a problem. But, you know, they're doing too much too early and that's usually, that's the biggest problem. I think the message here, right, is that they're, it's a two-way street. It's, it's incumbent upon us as plastic surgeons to do our part in the operating room, our part in the office, but it's incumbent upon the patients to also do their part and, and listen to us and just follow, follow directions because we want to get an excellent outcome. If you want to see stories like this, please tune into the PlasticSurgeryChannel.com.